Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 44, 50 45, and 50 45 for the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the interim UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! Yeah, thank you, man. You're all right, Lewis. Put that on, I'll put the belt on. I'm here with the winner, John Jones. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hey, it, I don't think I want that belt. It's not the real belt. I want my, uh, I want my actual belt back. Hey, everything's happening for a reason. You know, maybe I was meant to get in here and, and, and get a fight out of the way. Definitely took me a while to pull the trigger tonight. And, and uh, I felt like I used like 20% of the technique I actually know. So. Sorry guys, if you weren't satisfied with that, I definitely gave it my best. Like I said, uh, everything happens for a reason. Maybe I was meant to have a fight before uh, beating DC. John, it's been over a year since you've been in the octagon. What, what felt different? Um, you know, really, I, I just, uh, I was just watching. I was watching and uh, anticipating and imagining techniques landing, um, knowing when techniques would have landed and just not even going for it. So I just, I was watching tonight instead of reacting. Um, How did you feel physically? Physically, I felt amazing. Uh, I feel like I got two more rounds in me right now. Um, just mentally, I was, I was like, oh my God, like I'm, I'm sucking. This isn't good. <laughs> well, there's been so much pressure on you and you've had so much time off and, and so many outside of the octagon problems to deal with. Yeah. How much of a factor did that play into your mental state tonight? I don't, I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think that played a factor uh, in my performance at all. Hey, I got to feel I'm going to do a lot better. I really had a lot of questions and um, coming in here and I was just trying to be as, as confident as possible. Um, but I, I really needed that. I really needed that fight. Uh, like I said, I didn't look at Ovis as a warm-up fight because as you can see, he's definitely really game. But I needed that fight before I fight for my title. My next fight's going to be a hell of a lot better, I guarantee it. So we will see you next challenging Daniel Cormier for the title that you never lost inside the Octagon. Give us your thoughts on that and how that goes down. Oh, I'm really excited to fight Daniel Cormier. I, uh, I'm, I'm so excited to fight Daniel Cormier. I'll be right back in practice uh, probably uh, by Tuesday or Wednesday, getting back to our original strategy. Uh, in here tonight, you know, fighting the Southpaw, Everything that, that we had planned was, was, was flip-flopped on us. So, I don't know. Hey, you know what? I need to kill this Debbie Downer attitude. I just won a, a fight in the UFC. I, uh, yeah, I got a lot to be grateful for. Congratulations on your victory, and thank you for being honest about how you feel and how you feel about your performance. Thank you guys for being here. I love you guys all so much. My fans at home, I love you guys so much. 607-585-505. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for getting me back here. Love we look forward to seeing you again next time for the title. John Jones, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm here with Ovin St. Pru. First of all, I want to congratulate you for a tremendous performance. You took, it took a tremendous amount of courage to take this fight on just three weeks' notice for a five-round fight, and you handled yourself incredibly well. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I just wanted to come out here. Um, you know, John, John is pound for pound, the best fighter that ever came through mixed martial arts. And for me to come in there and do what I did, I think uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, you know, I only had three weeks to get ready for the camp. I gave everything I got, and I think I did a pretty good job. You did a fantastic job. Now, what, if anything, was surprising about this fight? Um, you know, he kept a fast pace. You know, the first three rounds were pretty good. And, you know, the first, uh, around the fourth and fifth round, he started picking up a little more. 
I think the, the second round, he caught me with a really good high kick. I blocked it, and my arm is killing me right now. I did throw my left hand third, fourth, and fifth round. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, he stayed persistent. You know, he's tactical, and, you know, he, he, he knows his craft. You often fight from the southpaw position and, sh and throw that power left kick, but you fought a lot of this fight from an orthodox stance. Why was that? It's just something, uh, you know, I fight southpaw, but when I first started off, I fought orthodox, so, you know, I can fight both ways. I was initially fighting uh, right-handed because I wanted to throw my right hand more. So, you know. We knew coming into this fight, you were the number six contender, one of the best fighters in the world. You proved that you belong at the very top tonight. On a three weeks notice to take on one of the best ever in John Jones. Get your arm checked out and we look forward to seeing you again, sir. Congratulations on a fantastic performance. Thank you. Up in St. Prue, ladies and gentlemen.